Ooh, you make me want to wrap fabric on my head so bad. You make me want to take mine off, girl, oh, cause come on, Tan! Come on, Tan Learn! Oh, you look amazing. You know what it gives me? World like, record eggs. Do you like a jumbo white egg or a, <laughs> or a cage free, like, you know what I mean? Patrick and Trixie together at last. Hi, it's Trixie. Welcome back to the channel. You know who this is. We have Patrick Starr today. Hi! Round of applause in the studio, please. <laughs> we never have this many people here. It feels like we're on TV or something. <laughs> we are! Patrick, as you guys know, is an incredible YouTuber, beauty, I mean, your presence in the beauty community cannot be understated. You're an incredible makeup artist, a friend, and I think we should just get ready today and hang out. Let's do it! Oh, sorry. You need to invent a new way to do YouTube that's not so crowded and chaotic. <laughs> I just like, I do YouTube and so like, I don't know, I know that you maybe want to get Oh into my God, it, like so. I'm really trying to get my name out there. Would you consider yourself an OG? No, people always tell me that, but I feel like I'm second generation because YouTube launched in 2007. Uh huh. And then I... It did. I know. Jesus Christ. Yeah, and then I started YouTube like 2015. Wow. It's one thing to have you on the channel and tell you all your products I love, and then they're all full. It's another thing to show you the real tea, which is, <gasps> oh. I really use this stuff. Really? Yes! Yeah. This Secure the Sweat is fierce. This is my second bottle. Let me give you another one. That's what I was 54. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see that? Use. <laughs> Mom, when you go to Sephora, everyone is used. <laughs> Patrick, Listen. Patrick goes into Sephora's and personally makes sure everyone has been used. <laughs> I do. I have to get something off my chest to start because you're gonna think that I'm flattering you and you're gonna get uncomfortable. So I think we should just start with it. Okay. You make, in my opinion, some of the best products on the market. Every <sighs> single thing you put out is the new best thing of that thing. It's always like, well, this is the, the best new brow gel. Well, this is the best lip liner now. It's every product. You, every know, what's, you, know, you know what's so crazy to me? In one day, I think this was like such an epiphany for me that I, cause I had been questioning like, okay, is one size doing good and this and that. Of all people, you texted me randomly like, bitch, your sh is sickening, what the f And then I went to a club that night and then in the midst of the shadows, I saw two eyes and it was Bob the drag queen. And she said, can I just tell you that your stuff is amazing? And I was like, the fairest of the fair and the richest skin tone of the rich of drag queens in one day have told me that yeah. the stuff works. And it wasn't just like one type of queen, you know? And so I think that was like really, really cool that I got Bob the drag queen and Trixie Mattel interacting with me the same day. I was like, wow. Now, if Bob the drag queen <laughs> says that your makeup really works for her. Should we be reformulating? That's all I'm saying, you know? <laughs> that just goes to show that Bob has the best products on the market and she's doing what she can. Yeah, she's doing what she can. You know, she just told me, she's like, every time I see you, you look so great. But at, you see, like I question every time she sees me, how much can she actually f***ing see? past the weave and the tracks on her lash line. Me. <laughs> yes. yes. Oh, especially like, I'll be DJing at Avita. I'm sweaty, <laughs> I'm in drag. It's it's dark, it's a mix of dark and bright because it's like a blackout club with hot lights. And then I see like a turban and I'm like, all right, nobody rubbed a lamp today. So, and then usually I'll climb over the DJ booth and come say hi. She did, she And did. I scream she in did. your face because it's did. so loud. She did, and You look beautiful. <laughs> and I'm over here. Oh, you look beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. But I also like, I'm usually so sweaty DJing that another makeup person there, I don't even want to get close. So I'm like, nice to see you girl. Cause I know I look. <laughs> Me. So you've been doing YouTube how many years now? I've been doing YouTube for 10 years. And I don't know how I'm still here. But the the most up thing, I think for me, in my in my up brain, is when when kids say, oh my God, I've been watching you since middle school, or I used to watch you when I was like 12 or 14, and I'm like, how old are you? They're like, I'm 22. Mary. Katya oh. and I now, people are like, I've been watching you since I was a teenager. And I'm like, <laughs> then they get back in their flying car with their full kids and fly away. And I'm like, okay. How old are you? 33. They're okay. We're like the same age. I'm 34. Yes. How old do we look? I know. Comment I down below. What I know you look giving? 25 and I know I look 70, so we don't have to play this game. <laughs> well, listen, I'm gonna do a facial because I'm a licensed esthetician now, bitch. So, you know, I can legally do, do, the, do the goods on the face. Thank God. Oh, by the way, we are having a second video here on Patrick's channel where I'm gonna get out of drag and Patrick's gonna take care of my face, I guess. Yeah, I'm gonna give her a full facial. Congratulations on getting your aesthetics license. I believe in the state of California, it's 600 hours? <laughs> yeah, 600 hours, long, long, long. My question to you is, 
What does Naomi Campbell smell like? Wet socks. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Every time I meet these celebrities, oh. like I, I feel like I've ha I have so many celebrities on my channel. To me, I have I have to calibrate and register them in my brain because it's so unreal yeah. that they look like a hologram yeah. to me. Like when Kim Kardashian walked in in like sweats in a tank, I was like, you're a hologram. And I just did Gwen Stefani's makeup like Ugh. two days ago. And she's so chill, so snatched, so gorgeous. Like we did her foundation first, but then it wasn't until I added like the littlest bit of like liner and then I finished overlining her lip. And then you'll see in a video, I was like, I was like, oh my God, that's Gwen Stefani. Because there the are makeup. certain things that make people like who they are. Would you say for me that my kind of identifying feature is my melon breasts? <laughs> yes. Thank and you. You better paint on those brown Legos, girl. Listen, you listen. You better put on that brown 2016 Lego, 2016 is back. It's where I'm from. You know what's crazy? I know we talk about, whenever I talk about Mac, I feel like it's Gaga talking about being Italian and from New York. Like it comes up <laughs> all the time. People who make makeup, like I'm just gonna say the way you make makeup, I'm always like, this is a person with Mac trading. All these products make sense to me. The consistency, the name, the numbering system, the packaging, I'm like, it all makes sense to oh, me. Thank you. And maybe that's why I think you make the best products because maybe we have some similar training. Yeah, no, your your products are really, really good too. The the pigment, the lips, the packaging, it's really, really fun. We it's love fun. really fun. I have to say, you know, I pay attention to makeup packaging. I worked at, you know, mm -hmm. Ulta and I've, I've always paid attention to packaging. How did you make the big swing to make your products metallic red? Mine. Yeah. It really, it really stands out in the store, but it also is a big swing. I think this is one thing that I don't know that a lot of people know, but every single choice I feel like has to have like symbolism to me. So like the, the metallic represents like people seeing themselves in the product. Like the red and the pink originally was gonna be black and white. And I said, I don't know, like I need a, a color that exemplifies or like stands for something. So I was like, you know, I'm, I'm gonna choose a red because I think it stands for love, self love. They can see themselves in the brand. Makeup is a one size fits all. Um, right. Yeah. By the way, Point made, one of the best liners in the world. Yes. This is truly like when we're on tour, Brandon knows just go to Sephora, get like three or four of these. Cause we just- Oh my God, we'll send you a butt. It's waterproof. It's amazing. You know what's crazy? When it comes to like making these products, we get like a lot of suggestions from like executives, you know, out there and they're like, oh, we think that this would do well for the brand. And a lot of it is, you know, fishy girl makeup. And then I have to put my foot down and be like, I think I want the waterproof of the waterproof. And you know, it gets questioned until we're like selling out and Beyonce is wearing our stuff and Trixie Mattel is wearing our stuff. It's really cool to see that there's now a market out there that wants this full coverage, like functional, like waterproof, oil proof glam because we were in an era bitch in fucking COVID when people wanted the no makeup makeup, the, the glowy skin, this the greasy, all this. It Couldn't like, be me, bitch. It's not me. I tried it. By the way, I'm not using these today, but I love these little quads that you guys make. Oh yeah. One, you'll see one of mine has gone on tour. Look how dirty it is. It's really I have another used one you can you can <laughs> these take. super warm browns work me out. Who are you fighting? Because <laughs> <laughs> I know. It travels, it travels. Your first palette, the one with Turban Legend and all those Yes, things. yes, yes. I remember being like, is this a manufacturing mistake? Why is the front like this? <laughs> I remember you saying that. And then I was like, somebody with long yes, nails made this. Somebody with long nails, I have it. It blew my mind. I was like, this is so smart. Because every time I would open like my products, like my big ass thumb, I don't have nails on today, would like scrape the inside. Because you'd have to stab yeah, it Yeah, and I felt I felt really, really bad um, doing it's that so to like smart. my product. We are doing a giveaway we'll talk about later in the video. And one of the items we're giving away is our horse girl palette. And I'm just gonna use that today. Look how pretty it is. Can I, can I use it? Yeah, of course. Okay. And we're not to lips yet, but bitch, you know. Your lip liners are the best oh lip God, liners. Oh my God, thank you. The colors. Uh, Come on, so horse pretty, girl. Right? So pretty, right? I'm gonna use Hey Girl and Giddy Up. Would you say that your makeup is different from TV appearances, like your Trixie Motel show, or like judging on Queen of the Universe versus like gigging in public? Do you take more, more time to be more HD friendly or is it all just the same? When I'm doing like Solid Pink Disco, or like a big DJ tour or something where it's like big lights and glitter cannons and like it's a club. That's where I'm usually doing truly like the Lines. white will get lower. 
so that even if there's overhead lights, you can see white. And then the brow will get darker, especially in the ends. The highlight under the brow will go from like cream to white. white. <laughs> so it's like small changes. And then when I'm judging Queen of the Universe, I mean, I feel a great responsibility if I'm gonna tell people what's wrong with them to look really good. <laughs> well, now it's canceled, so now no one's Well, <laughs> can you give me advice? I'm judging Miss USA next week. Oh, cool. How do you gracefully judge? Uh, the truth is I love, I, I'm not a hater. I love everything. And so like, there's usually, no matter how good or bad they do, there's usually something emphatically that I loved about it. Mm. I'm gonna tell you what Michelle Visage told me. This changed what my life. What the did she say? She said that she hates you. No, I'm just kidding. She <laughs> said- <laughs> She just healed me yesterday. <laughs> she said, think about it. These queens are away from their friends, their family, the normal DJ, the bartender they normally perform on front of. Mm. You're their only lifeline to tell them what they need to know to win. Mm. So don't think of it as telling them what's wrong with them. Think of it as telling them what they need to do to win. And then it becomes very easy because you actually want to help them. I was a judge on Drag Race Philippines. That was cool. Do you speak, is it Tagalog? Yeah, Tagalog, yeah. Tag yeah, a little bit here and there. I, I love to accidentally call it Tagalog, which is the name of a Girl Scout cookie. I know that that's wrong. <laughs> Tagalog. Tagalog. Yes. Okay. Yes. Jiggly speaks. Jiggly. Yes. Yeah, Tagalog. Yeah. yeah, she's a judge on there too. Yes. I tried with Manila one time and I, I was like, do you understand me? She don't understand English, girl. <laughs> <laughs> no, I love her. Hi, Manila. Come on the channel. That is a beautiful makeup artist. Yeah. Oh my God, that makeup is beautiful. Fashion. We just had her at Trixie Motel and she performed. I mean, these girls are lip syncing in the sunlight. Sunlight be <laughs> damned. Manila looked fucking perfect. Her face is perfect. I was like, Jesus Sickening. Christ. These drunk people don't deserve you, bitch. <laughs> Sometimes drag queens are so pretty that I'm like, everyone needs to sober up. Someone really beautiful is about to come out. <laughs> and you don't want to miss this. And then when someone ugly comes back, you keep drinking. You know? Get your drinks, guys. Trixie will be right out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All your parties. <laughs> totally. Do you drink alcohol? Sometimes, but I'm on a fasting gig. Oh yeah, you're yeah. on a fitness journey. I'm a, I'm on a fitness journey because I'm just trying to be like more boss and more serious as I get older. Like ever since I met Chris Jenner and she wakes up at like four or 5 a.m. and she was like fully alert and aware for our video. I was like, I aspire to be that. I'm on a show right now and the other day I was getting up to get in drag and I was like, you know, I used to see sunrises on the way home. At the end of the day. <laughs> and now I see them while I'm getting in drag and that's like, where did I go wrong? Would you ever do a reality pro- Wait, haven't you done a reality program? No, I've actually, well, I've, I've been like a judge. It's just so scary because I think as a YouTuber, we're so used to like self-producing and, and self control. and controlling everything. We actually did a, a beauty influencer reality show. I've never said this anywhere in public. We actually did a beauty influencer reality show. You can probably guess the who's who of the 2016. Everybody was on it, everybody. If you guys want to comment down below and guess, all of us were on it. I just had to pardon myself and be like, I don't think this is the right choice because of what they were trying to tell me to say against this other person or for this person or to this person. Like the producing was producing and it wasn't, I don't think the right move. And it was just such a, uh, it was so traumatizing for me to, to do that to somebody or have someone do that to me that I was like, you know what? I'm not gonna do this. I'm just gonna manage my own visual career. Cause that's what got me up until that point. And I was like, you know what? No one's gonna, my image and right. do this to me. Like now that I have, I mean, I love YouTube and I love doing, you know, Trixie Motel and stuff and I get so much say. And now like I just did Housewives Salt Lake City mm -hmm. and I was on it for a few episodes and wearing a body microphone and not knowing what happens to the audio when I leave, mm -hmm. I don't like that feeling anymore. Mm -hmm. Cause I don't trust myself. Th these colors are so pretty. They're giving. This little horsey horse, the amount of wigs that are everywhere in this place is like, <laughs> Insane. I know. It is. I just shove my turbans because they match my outfits and I just throw them in a bag and throw them in storage. That's so when you travel, you don't have to travel with wigs, it's just fabric. It's just fabric. Like you're a dementor. But <laughs> Yes. <laughs> oh. It's giving Baltimore. <laughs> Do people come to meet and greets with you and stuff with turbans on? Uh, some, yeah. I love Some, that. Early in, in my career, it was so touching. Like I didn't realize the impact and, and the reach of like social media. And I realized that where there were families with um, loved ones that were going through cancer and chemo that would come with their turbans and say like, wow, I could really see like beauty and makeup and I didn't need like a wig to do that. And obviously they wore that, but to see someone online doing that, I didn't realize that that's what I was doing. Cause I started losing my hair and balding like at 17. And I was like, you know what? Let me just put this up. I can like cut my, my hairline and I can, you know, do that. And then in terms of proportionizing, I started adding like this ball on top uh -huh. um, just to make me a little bit taller. And that was like the gig. You know what? I do remember how we first met. Hmm. We met at, was it a Streamies? No. 
It was yeah. some kind of. It was, it, was, it was streaming, I think. I think I was presenting with Katya. You like Katya, yeah. And I saw you on the red carpet. I was like, well, I only know one person <laughs> wrapping their head in a bolt of sequin fabric. Um, Trisha paid it. So yeah, it was Trisha. The streamies is always a really, I, I don't want to call it, okay, you're here, whatever. Let's just talk about it. A room full of people who sit in their house and talk to themselves for a living. When you put them out in the wild, you realize that the social skills have gone. All of us, all They're of us. gone. You know, Katya and I don't understand social protocol to begin with. So we're in a room full of people who haven't left the home in six months. Oh, I forgot to put my... Sometimes I forget to pay my I like how our color them. stories are like almost the same. We're gonna finish up foundation here and come right back. I'm gonna put on some show pony blush. I... Do you love blush? Yeah, when I used to say... I kinda wanna paint like you today. I love... Your blushes are... Like... They're so beautiful. <laughs> I was just talking about one of your blushes. If you've ever been unsure about trying pink blush or orange blushes, I love the way yours are laid out because there's a cream option, a mm -hmm. powder option for building, and there's a highlight. Oh. Not to mention, I've had products where there's a powder and a cream in the same component. It's hard. And you put a little door in there to protect it. I know that was shit custom. Mm -hmm. Like, that is thing. so cool. Mm, thank you. When you use your products, I always am like, God, this is somebody who has been in bed no, at night yours? thinking about stuff. When you open it, the, these pressings, bitch, are expensive. Yeah, they are. They're really, really tea. And then when you have them all stamped, honey. I'm gonna do a little bit of this too. These super cool pinks are so pretty. I know that's trendy now, but you were ahead of that trend. Let's not forget it, darling. Oh God, yeah, now I'm really putting blush on, huh, bitch? You know what else? We're talking 2016s. There was a time when drag queens weren't wearing blush. Mm -hmm. Oh. And it just made me sick. And, and, and influencers. And <laughs> no one. No one was wearing blush. Hot brown matte face. <laughs> no blush. Yeah. I will not be with today. Probably by my own makeup skills. We f***ed with still. There's still a lot to go. <laughs> it's an interesting time in makeup. It's a weird time, don't you think? It's like the golden age of like big, big, um, Meg oh, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I could have died. The gold, it's such a weird time in YouTube because it's a, there's still people doing beauty. There's so many other types of media now. YouTube isn't exactly king of beauty anymore. Mm -hmm. But people I think are, are gonna swing back to like YouTube because this like sales force that's happening on like TikTok is a little bit like annoying. Mary. Everyone is eligible for commission. Everyone is like talking to you like it's like an infomercial. I'm just trying to watch like an extraction video or a video about someone's parrot. And it'll be some wet faced 17 year old girl this close to the camera being like, just tried this new lip balm and honestly, it changed the game. And I'm like, this is not a real video. The problem is the marketing looks so much like real videos on TikTok that yeah. halfway through a TikTok, I'm like, this was an ad. Mm -hmm. I was bonded with this person. I cared about what happened to them. And now- Me watching your videos. <laughs> I trusted you, Trixie, I, I trusted you. By the way, of all people to be mad at other people for selling things, I'm like, I'm the last person. I know. <laughs> yeah, who would do that? So crazy. <laughs> I just always admired the way RuPaul could sell things in a heavy handed way with a and smile. And say it twice. Yes. You know, when I was a kid, uh, I used to watch the Home Shopping Network mm -hmm. and I would turn the sound off and I would pretend to talk for the people. And I'd be like, oh, this blanket oh, is really, really nice. Yeah. And now, ironically, that's what I do on YouTube. Oh, I like, boy. you know, was training for that before YouTube existed. People don't know what YouTube was. People don't know that it was Tyler Oakley talking to your MacBook camera. People <laughs> was, don't know. Was. I don't know if you find this, but people think I have like, uh, I don't know. How big is Team Team Patrick? Team Star. Team Star. There's Team Star and then there's Team One Size. So Team Star, I would say there's probably like five, five to seven. Jesus. Yeah. But it depends. Are you at end of life care? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yes, yes. Are you? They're laughing. They're like, seems like sometimes, bitch. <laughs> like, what about you? You answer. <laughs> I have one. We have Brandon. You have like f the eight people in here. Well, I guess what do we call? Brandon is my real life personal mm -hmm. assistant. He drives me everything. Nick does the YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. That's it. Oh, and then there's people at Trixie Cosmetics. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but yeah. that's their own company. Nobody else like knows my social security number. And Brandon knows where the bodies are buried because Brandon helped me kill the people. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? We'll get them. We'll get them. You really brush your real lashes. No, I have. Lash. It's it's like a habit of mine because like in HD photos, the, like, it's a big difference. Like my face is like either like if Sephora wants to put it on a billboard and then you see like my fake lashes go and my real ones go the other way. I have to. They have to be the same direction for me. I'm sure I you see to. it all the time on billboards. I see a lash and a fake lash and a space between all no, the time. No, not me. It's, I think it's embarrassing. I don't want to put anybody on blast. I went to see Hairspray, the musical. It was great, of course. Nina. The ad. <laughs> no, the ad for Hairspray, the musical. The the famous one with the blue wig. There's uh -huh. two strip, there's a strip of lashes in the real lash and there's a strip and of skin between. Line. Not even a post. 
Not even a post. And then I'll even pinch mine, just in case. You better pinch something, bitch. You know what I like about your liner? Everything. But honestly, if you're making a black pen liner and it doesn't go on black, <laughs> What has it all been about? You know what? I think because I've been getting older, I've been into like lowering my lash line a ton with pencil liner. Like Roxy Andrews? It very that. Oh, I meant to say that earlier. Like I'm from Orlando. So I grew up with Roxy. She was my first ever drag queen that I ever saw at a Pulse with Angelica Sanchez, Sassy Divine. Oh, I love the Sassy The girls, Divine. yeah. The Andrews, Maya oh. Andrews, all of them. Julie Kylie. Andrews. <laughs> I think Orlando. Oh, that dear. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Julie Andrews at Pulse Orlando, like. <laughs> <laughs> My problem is, and this, this is happening as I get older in drag, when I don't go to shows, I really fall out of love with drag. And that puts what? me in a really, yeah, it puts me in a hard place. And then I'll go to a drag show and it's like, you're inspired again. Yes, even the worst drag show in the world. I don't care if it's uncle, grandpa, and a wig <laughs> with a boom box. I leave so happy. Drag matters. <laughs> it, does. it does. Not much, <laughs> but it does. And I want to do a video sink. where I have somebody put me in really normal drag and I get to go do a local show. Like secret <laughs> undercover boss drag. <laughs> you know what I mean? Where I'm like, give it up for Meryl Andrews or whatever my name is. And then you're know. the bucket girl? Yes, the bucket girl. I'm the gut bucket girl. <laughs> I didn't do a video on this, but I did go to DragCon and full disguise like a shop. You did? Yeah. Well, yeah, you can't really yeah. go to DragCon, can you? No, but it was fun. One year I had a Jason look, uh, like Jason Voorhees mm -hmm. from Friday the 13th, mm -hmm. and I walked around DragCon and just shopped. You did? Oh, yeah. Just behind people, pushing by fans with Trixie t-shirts on, just like shopping. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's the only way to get around. <laughs> so, I got this Prime Fish lip liner, obsessed. Oh, my God. it. <gasps> We are the same person. We are the same. We're the same skin tone and everything. We are the, yeah, we're exactly the same. the same. You know, lately I've been trying to do your lip where it's fuller in the middle. Yeah. I wouldn't say I'm exactly successful at mm -hmm. it, but I've been trying. Okay. I'm trying to go more draggy for your channel today. <laughs> is that what you think is going on here? You think that normally you don't look like this? <laughs> no, I, I don't think this. Hmm. We'll see. Now, what am I serving? <laughs> do you grow facial hair at all? Yes. I have been growing more facial hair now and it's been hard for me because I have to get a super close shave. The best one for me is the Gillette Skin Guard. It's literally so good for sensitive skin. It gets really, really close. And I think it helped my, my irritation. I still find you irritating. Oh. <laughs> same. You're like same, bitch. I know, I find myself so annoying. Dave and I just moved in together and I'm always like, God, if I'm annoying to myself, I can't imagine. David lives with me. Like, oh God. The other day we were at a family function and David ordered a martini and I was like, oh God, dirty martinis. And I turned to this guy next to me and I go, oh, you ever had a martini? And I was like, oh, he's 15. <laughs> David goes, no, he hasn't a martini. He's 15 years old. And I go, oh, <laughs> I'm trying to make conversation. And he's there with his dad and I go, see, what's it like having a dad? And he's like, stop talking to him. You want to sharpen that dull ass pencil? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Yes, I would. The, your sharpener is great. Thank you. One of the best sharpeners on the Thank market. You. It doesn't explode in the kit. That's why it I wanted something because shavings everywhere. We have Eden Liquid Lipstick here. Beautiful. Eden was our first and only employee when the company started. Mm -hmm. And even though she's gone on to better things, she works for Katya. I feel beautiful. I do want to put, this is why I usually put blush at the end because mm -hmm. I need, once the lips on everything, I need more blush. Mm -hmm. Show pony. That blush is really pretty. And we just are introducing, this is our first single. We usually have the oh, palettes. Oh yes, 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 the, the trios. Yeah, this is our first single. I love the trios too. Oh, I love myself. I'm gonna finish it with our new setting spray. <laughs> I wanna try. I Peach spray scented. a lot. Don't laugh at how much I use, because I wear so much powder. <laughs> Are you joking? <laughs> what? I should have called you to test this product when it was coming. No, we I use so much spray. I like wet my skin. Oh, Are you like, okay? No, I ha I have to wear that much spray. Like, like it's. Let me try more. Maybe I'm. Maybe I'm <laughs> no, not. No, you don't, you don't, you don't have to. You don't have to. <laughs> I mean, it does feel good to put a lot on. My skin feels good. It's, yeah. And then once it's like tapped. Love that spray. One of the best setting sprays. And there's a luminous version, but I have a 
fucking bone to pick with you, Mary. Tell me. I heard that go off is getting discontinued. Did you think I wasn't gonna bring this up? Did you think I wasn't gonna bring this up? I'm gonna have to go back to spraying my face with oil sheen <laughs> and olive oil. No, we are, we're, we're working on something. Okay, because if you have never tried, if you're a heavy makeup user, there's a product called Go Off that is a red misting bottle. Brandon and I buy truly like 10 or 10. I have like a ton of bottles waiting at the facial room for you. They're amazing. Thank you. It's the best takeoff makeup product. Me, all this black and white Trixie makeup, I spray it. While I'm taking my drag body off, I let it sit. So 60 good. 60 seconds later, one wipe, gone. It's so good. And if you ever take that away from me. No, it, it, I promise. This was a really fun look. Should we, um, should we put on a, the- Let's get in the gigs. To put on the thing and come yeah, back? Let's do it, let's do it. And we're here with the final look. We look beautiful. Gorgeous. Thank you for coming on the channel today. Thank you for having me. Not that anybody needs to know because they probably already know, but where can they find you on the internet? Um, Everywhere, Patrick Star and at One Size. Yes, and uh, please, please, please participate in the giveaway. Trixie Cosmetics and One Size are giving away nine products a each, 18 pieces. That's the biggest giveaway I've ever done, and I've never done a giveaway with another brand. So stay tuned on socials for our little giveaway. And if you guys want to see us de-drag and me as a licensed esthetician get into Trixie's facial, um, check it out on my channel real soon. Bye!